Hi, everyone. Welcome back to another Tech to Elevate webinar. We're glad that you could join us. If you're not able to join us live, you can watch this video and our other recorded videos all on our YouTube channel, which you can find at our website, tech2elevate.org, with the number two. I'm your host, Benjamin Gallegos, and I'll be moderating the comments. If you have any questions, concerns, anything like that, feel free to reach out to us either live during this webinar, or you can certainly email us, contact us through our website, or whatever works best for you. Uh, I'm serving up in Erie, along with Brandon Justice, who will be doing an amazing presentation today on decoding the digital icons, just kind of, you know, to help you figure out what you're doing in your daily life uh, on your computers, phones, et cetera. So, Brandon. Yeah, so like Ben said, um, we are up in Erie. A lot of the times we're at the Blasco Public Library, um, kind of helping people just one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and something that we've run into a lot is people either on their phones or their computers, different, you know, Microsoft, Apple, whatever, um, just don't a lot of the time know what the icons mean. Um, that sometimes just basic stuff that, you know, especially if they're older adults, they're not able to see that well, the smaller icons, um, or just aren't able to make out like what they're supposed to be. And so we thought it might be a good idea to put together kind of a cheat sheet of like the most common icons um, and what they mean. And this will be up on our YouTube and things like that. Um, so you can go and see for future use. Uh, but I'll go ahead and share that presentation. All right. So first, I just figured we'll go through some of the more common ones on Apple computers, which are Mac computers and iPhones. Um, so the share button is something you'll see, especially if you're like in your photos or anything, any kind of file that you have. You'll see the share button. It's usually in the bottom left of your screen. Um, hitting that will often bring up like a, a menu sort of of like how do you want to share it and who do you want to share it to. Most common would be sending it as a like text message to somebody. Um, and then you'll go through those steps. But that is pretty universally the share icon, um, especially on iPhones. The next one is this location services arrow. That is will show up in like the top right uh, corner of both your MacBook or your iPhone. Um, it just means that one of your apps or one of your websites is using your location. Um, people get freaked out about it. Not always a bad thing, especially if it's something like the weather. The weather just needs to know where you are if you want it to do it accurately. Um, it's up to you whether or not you give it access to that. Sorry, there's my cat. Um, but that just that icon just means that it is being used in the background. Um, again, not necessarily a bad thing. The next one is this orientation lock. The, a lot of these are something you might see in the top. Um, when you see this icon like activated in the top right, it just means that your phone, the orientation is locked. So that means if your phone, you're holding it vertically and you turn it sideways, if this is on, the screen won't flip. If it's off, the screen will flip. Um, good for different situations. You can turn it on and off pretty easily. Um, this alarm clock, when you see it as like an app icon that, you know, you click on that app to set a timer, set an alarm, whatever. But if you see it in the top of your phone, um, it means that an alarm or timer has already been set. So like if you, you know, set an uh, alarm to wake up in the morning, you can just check, make sure you see that up in the top corner to make sure that that's on, already set. Uh, the next one is this download icon. This is pretty standard across a lot of different kinds of devices. Um, again, it'll be like if you're looking at a file online and you want to download it, that'll be the button. And then it'll usually, if you're on your computer, it'll pop up a like, you want to do download it and save it to your like documents folder, your desktop, et cetera. Um, similar thing with your iPhone, depending on what kind of file you're downloading. This next one, very, I think, pretty universal, very important. Um, will almost always, these three dots up and down will almost always be some sort of menu. Um, if you're looking to like change a setting, in a website that you're using or an app that you're using or um, you're looking for like more options like say you're not able to see a share button or something like that if you find these three dots it'll open up a lot more options for you generally this next one is do not disturb you can put this on on your iphone um, from the drop down settings when you slide down from the top it just means people if they call you, it goes straight to voicemail and it won't pop up a notification. It won't like alert you. Um, if they text you, it won't alert you. It just is for like if you're in a meeting or something, you want to keep your phone completely quiet. You can turn it on, do not disturb. 
Um, a new thing, if you have an updated iPhone, is that it'll show, like if somebody is texting you, it'll tell them that your phone is on Do Not Disturb. Um, and if it's something that's urgent, they can they can not hit notify anyway, and it'll send you a notification um, just to make sure you get any real important messages. The last one that I see pop up a lot is this AirPlay icon. AirPlay is something you can use with your phone or computer to connect, whether you have like an Apple TV or just a Wi-Fi enabled TV um, that lets you show whatever is on your phone or computer on that TV so that you would hit that AirPlay icon and kind of follow through the steps to connect. Uh, next, we've got the common Microsoft icons. Um, this first one is the save file. It's a little floppy disk. Um, they This has been their save icon for, for years and years. Um, it's a little hard to tell what it is. Often it's very small. So, But if you see anything like this, it generally means save, especially if you're in like one of the Microsoft Office things like PowerPoint or Word. Uh, next, we have OneDrive, which is their kind of just cloud. Um, it's where you can save files to, and it won't take up computer. It won't take up storage directly on your computer or phone, um, but it is saved. It's saved on their servers, which is just what the cloud is. Um, that is something that does. It does have a limited amount of storage if you're not paying for it, but you also don't have to use it. Um, the next is this little recycle bin. That's just the trash. Um, I'm not 100% sure why they made it a recycling bin instead of trash. Sometimes it throws people off, but that's all it is. Uh, this one here, the start menu, is a lot of times, especially in Windows 10, you'll see it either in the corner or right in the middle of the bottom of your screen. Um, you open that up, that'll show you sort of like all the settings in your computer. It's where you would adjust those, like security, things like that. Um, as well as any applications that you have downloaded on your computer, you can find through there. Um, yeah, it's something worth just clicking on and seeing what's there if you haven't already. The next one, this is specifically the icon for, I think, Windows 10 and later, is this Microsoft Edge. It's Microsoft's own specific browser. Um, it's not bad if you want to use that. It's there for you. Um, that's what the icon means. It's just like another version of Apple's is Safari, um, Microsoft and Microsoft Edge, and then Google as Google Chrome. Um, then next, we've got this files icon. That's where you would just see everything that you've downloaded um, to specifically that folder or just in general. Um, you can you know sort it alphabetically by recency, whatever, whether you've downloaded like photos, PDFs, anything like that. Uh, the next is the Windows Store, which is just where you would download and find all these apps and anything that you want to download onto your computer. Uh, uh, some of them are free, some of them are not. It might ask you, even if you're downloading something for free, something that people run into, is that it might ask you anyway for a credit card or something to put on file. Doesn't mean they're going to charge it. If it's a free app, they just need to have it on file for you um, in case you want to make purchases in the future. Finally, just the settings icon, pretty much across the board, settings is going to be like a gear, something like that. Um, they look a little bit different depending on the platform, but generally that's what you're looking for. Um, yeah. And then finally, we've got some Samsung and Android icons. These I took straight from the website. Um, this one is, it says signal strength is what this icon is. It'll, the bars will be filled in based on how strong your signal is. That's specifically cell signal, not Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, generally like how close you are to a cell tower or anything like that, or if you're you know in a building that blocks out cell signal. The next is this, it's the same as the arrow on Apple. It just shows the location services are being used. Could be by weather, could be by maps, anything like that. Um, but it is something you can turn off in settings if you don't want them using your location for anything. Um, there's also, I believe, if you turn it off every time you check your weather, it might ask you, like, would you like to turn on location services all the time or just this one time? Whatever. It's cut, pretty much customizable for you. The next icon is this little speaker with, like, a squiggly line next to it. It just means your phone's in vibrate, vibrate mode or silent mode. Um, just, you know, won't ring. Will just buzz. Um, isn't the same as do not disturb because it will buzz and it will like alert you that way. But
but it is a lot quieter. Uh, the next is this casting, similar to AirPlay, just not branded. Um, it just is the same thing, allows your phone or computer to show on a TV, um, whatever you're doing on there. So you would, both things have to be connected to Wi-Fi. If you have an older TV, you probably won't be able to do it. Um, it needs to be a TV that can connect to Wi-Fi, but then you'll be able to show what's on your phone. Uh, these next couple are something that'll show up um, on the top bar of your phone as, as like notifications that you've missed. Um, this first one is just the missed call icon. If you see that in the top, that means you've missed a call from somebody. Um, not obviously not a huge deal, but it just shows you like that's what it, how the notification will show. This next one will show up there if there's something that requires your attention, whether it's like issue connecting to Wi-Fi, um, an app couldn't download, anything like that. It'll show you there that icon and you'll just swipe down to see what the notification is. Uh, then we've got the power save mode. It's hard to see here, but it's just a battery with like the recycling icon in the middle of it. Put that on. Um, you can have it on all the time. It's not going to hurt your phone to have it on all the time. Um, it just makes it drain your battery a little less. I think it turns down the brightness a little bit and kind of slows down what it's running in the background, tries to burn your battery a little less quickly. Finally, is this one. It's the Wi-Fi signal uh, with an exclamation mark by it. This one trips people up. It's that you're, you're connected to a Wi-Fi, but for some reason that Wi-Fi isn't giving you access to internet. So for example, when someone comes into the library um, where we work, the library, whenever you connect to the Wi-Fi, it requires you to accept some like terms and conditions because it's a public Wi-Fi and they just don't want you using it to like hack people and things like that. So this might show up if you haven't been able to accept those terms and conditions yet. If it shows up, a lot of the time you can just swipe down from that notification menu and you'll see it there and you just hit accept. Um, there's other things that could cause this issue, like if you're at home, your Wi-Fi just might not be working. Um, often, if you just give it a little bit of time, it'll boot right back up, or you can you know, restart your router, look up how to do that, depending on what your router is or what your internet carrier is. But that's what that means. And that's about it for these ones. Um, if you have any other questions about uh, icons or general information, you can always come to us. We are in Beaver County, we're at the Laughlin Library in Ambridge, Mondays and Wednesdays, 12 to 4. We are at the B.F. Jones Memorial Library in Aliquippa, Thursdays, 12 to 4. In at Erie, you can see Benj and I from 2 to 6, uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays at the Blasco Library. You can come in, you can call ahead to schedule an appointment if you want, or you can just walk in um, and we'll, you know, one-on-one -on -one help with whatever it is you need help with. You can, if you want to schedule it, you can either call directly to the library, uh, especially in Blasco, they're good about that. Um, or you can call this number here, that's our office number, or just go to the website. All right, thank you, Brandon. I think that was a great presentation. Hopefully everyone was able to learn a lot about those different icons. Uh, some of them may be you know, a little bit more intuitive, but some of them can definitely be confusing, and especially when you're not entirely sure what each one means and it can change from device to device. It can change from application to application. It can really be confusing. Um, so hopefully that helped. And if you have any further questions, like Brandon said, feel free to contact us. If it's specifically, you know, you just want to know what an icon means or if you want to come in for more tech help, we'd be glad to help. Uh, and we hope that you enjoyed. So thank you for uh, tuning in.